Okay, it looks like we're back on. Sorry about that, my internet cut out. It's been quite some time since it's done. Usually, actually, uh, it works out fine. Uh, but I have been having uh, some spotty internet connection recently, so uh, I don't think that has to do with, with my laptop set. That's what it was before. Anyway, we're back. So let's take a look at saving Bubda. So rescue Bubda. Yes. So we now have one of with us in the party. Uh, it totally shows up. Great. That's perfect. Um, let's look at um, item skills. There he is. Awesome. Equip. Oh, is there status? Let's go into him. Great. That's perfect. Uh, let's actually check all of these. Just to make sure that he shows up okay. Uh, great. Okay, so this is awesome. We are able to now rescue Bubba and have him in the party. That's fantastic. Um, yes, Bubba was added to your I have to find him in here. That was kind of weird. Okay, cool. I've noticed that the last time that um, the gap window will pop up and then if you like go into the menu while it's still there, then you can uh, go out of the menu and it pops up again or something. So there's just kind of a little quirk that it has, which is fine. It's okay. That, that's too much too much. It's just, it's minor annoyance. Okay, so good. We are able to recruit Bob Dad and that's fantastic. Now I, I kind of want to check recruiting Bob Dad and then getting Rylantar in the in the group. And I think so so here's here's the dilemma. Here's the thing that I'm thinking about right now. If I cap the number of people that you can have in in a um, world at two, then in a world here, for example, if you get Bob Dad and then you go and you recruit somebody else, and then, then Rylantar is supposed to join your team, you won't be able to because you're not allowed to have more than two people in addition to the party before that you initially have. So that that could be a problem, that could become an issue. Um, but I think I do want to cap it at two, and maybe, maybe for this world I can hit one, that's just kind of reserved, like I can already have one. That's you know like a special. It gets more complicated that way, but that's something that we might need to do. Kind of, kind of like a, a reserved map so that you can only have um, that one. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these bugs that we were running into, and um, it, it's great now that we can actually recruit up. I want to take a look at recruiting some other people. Maybe we should have this guy recruitable too. Uh, <laughs> Richard. I think it'd be fun to be able to take Richard, um, but you'd have to do something to in, in order to convince him that it's worth his while. And, and that's going to be the thing with this recruitment system. Some, uh, again, some of the characters are going to go very well, but Bob Dell, all you have to do is say, yeah, go with me, go with me, it's fine. But some of these other characters are going to take a lot of convincing, like uh, King Lance and Rufus, I want you to be able to bring it's going to take, like, um, finding every single thing, um, every hidden treasure, whatever, in this world, and defeating, like, all the bad guys, and it's just, you know, a bunch of stuff, and once you've done everything, taking care of all of the issues for all of the NPCs in this entire world, then he'll consider going with you or something like that, but, um, it's going to be very difficult, and some will be very easy. What were we doing? So the issues that we ran into. This one, first of all, when we came here, it's supposed to call to Copernicus. So, uh, it just says, call Copernicus. When you say yes... Wait, but I did do that. Okay, so I think I was just thinking about it differently. Um, you've completed your first mission, and it brings you back. That's right. Okay. So, um, actually, this, this I think, the biggest issue, I think, is in the castle. I think that's where the biggest issue is going to be in terms of bugs at this moment. Uh, if I just cancel the bridge mark, there we go. Uh, 
So the biggest issue here is that after he talks to you and brings the Chrono Commander account, it, uh, you're able to speak to him again. So we need to go back to... Um, wait, ready to leave, right? Because when you, after you've talked to him, ready to leave turns off. Okay, so we already have a switch for him. And none of these are those. So let's just create a new event page. Actually, let's just copy and paste this one. And then 107, ready to leave DD has to say something else. Um, so, I have to say something else and I'll just leave it at that. Like it, it, it's just going to say some final thing you just dislike. Just like that. Thank you again for helping us. Uh, your wonderful team is So, thank you again for what you've done, what you have done here. I'm going to have him speak a bit more properly. Thank you again for what you have done here. Hair. <laughs> here. Okay, thank you again for what you have done here. We will forever remember your deeds. There you go. You will forever remember your deeds. And I think it was a little bit like that. But that way he doesn't think we can throw my Rick walk and do some other strange things and, and that would be cool. So after you talk to the Chrono Vanderwick, she's not maybe I'll just have her repeat what she says. So let's see. Remember Copernicus. Am I even spelling that right? Probably spelling it differently in every frame. Anyway, remember Copernicus is at the root of it all. I'll, uh, I'll clear up her dialogue a lot better later. But I think I'm actually just going to leave her there. Although, no, if you, if you leave the room and come back, she's not going to be there because this one's going to be finished. Um, which is okay, so I'll just, I'll just kind of um, left like that, and once you leave the room, if you come back, she will just, uh, she, she'll be gone. Okay. Cool, so I'm feeling pretty good about that song. Um, we've started our recruitment system. We have this event kind of halfway there. King Lancel Rufus is talking to us and sending us back to Copernicus, back to the lab. And um, so that's really good. Um, so I think what I want to do is take another look at the recruitment system over here at um, the Winter Rest Market Day. And I want to see if I can recruit this guy as well, Richard. Now, I don't know if I have a Richard after. But if not, I can create one. No. I do have it. That's pretty great. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and create Richard. And um, he is a knight. I don't have a knight. Excuse me. Why do I have a gift? It's very Clerk, scholar, merchant, career, dancer. That's Gary Clerk, scholar, merchant, career, dancer. I have, I have them duplicated for the reason I can't remember why I didn't get it. Um, okay, so who is this guy? I'm going to have Richard be a warrior type. Um, a knight in the king's army. Yeah, just a nice little king's army. Uh, we create a more compelling backstory for Richard. But for now, that's going to be what it's going to be. Let's see if we can find Richard. Where is he? So, DD 3. So, you don't have another DD. Maybe. Oh, here it is. Here's Richard, right here. So yeah, I'm just going to do the first one there. Character. Uh, 
I don't think I have Richard Ass's open thing. I'm sure he's just in one of these. I think that's him. Right? Alright, I'm just gonna hit OK. No, he's a bit different. Let's see, that's where I got him from. Tales of Nowhere D&D, he's this guy right now. Okay. Tales of Nowhere D&D, so... Got to go here, and that's the general guard. I'm going to do Tales of Nowhere D&D. That's the one, right? And the battle record commands to have good old Richard now. No, that's the private guard, Richard. But you know, so we've got Richard, and he's uh, would have been a sword. Shred training sword. <laughs> I haven't even gotten to this yet. Any of the this balancing. Guys, this has a lot to it. Okay, so I'm just gonna give him a training sword to begin with. Okay, we're gonna need to balance the battles and the weapons and everything. There's still a lot. Okay, so I'm going to say alright on that one, and then same thing, I'm going to um, I'm actually going to grab all of this, I'm going to copy it, and Richard, he's going to say leave the goblin B, and then um, we're going to say Yes or no. So if you do recruit Richard, then we're going to add him to the party. Great, initialize. And he's going to say... Uh, he's going to say something like... Fine, but there better be good pay in And uh, this is going to change. Um, definitely. Okay, so fine. better be good pay involved. And say uh, Richard is happening. Real charge. Richard was at a tier one. And he was. Awesome. Okay. And Richard, actually, I first need to add him as 16 to all this. Oh, this is going to take a very long time. Got to try to figure out how to streamline this. That's why I want to get a good recruitment system put in place. Maybe use yeah, a comedy event to do it, and that's going to help things out. But for right now, um, we need to grab Richard, and he's actually on this particular one. He's this guy right here. So I'm going to come in, and you know what? I'm going to grab the grid, show grid, and snap to grid. Perfect. I'm going to grab this guy. So let's copy Richard here and paste him here. Let's scale him up just a hair. So that he fits in here well. Uh, might be good. Okay, I'm going to add that. I don't know if he looks more up center that way or that way. Okay, I think he's okay. So there we go. I'm going to export as. Factor 16, okay. Alright. And then, we need to get all the other ones. Oh gosh, okay, so. Face is one. I got, um... I do not have Actor 16 to get him in there. So, what I need to do is I need to grab... I need to do, grab his... 
face from here. Um, let's see. Copy address, and then I just need a new one. And can't do it. Alright, well, it figures. Okay, so I need to go into this. That's not the one. Oh, goodness. Okay, images. And we need to go to. What am I even looking for? Alright, this is one. So I'm going into these faces. This is what I'm looking for. Richard is. One of these guys. Nope, he's in D&D. &D. So here, there, TT3. No, where is he? Where are you, Richard? So I've got Galathil, and I've got Generic Soldier. What I need is Richard. I thought I had him in here. Okay. I'm not seeing him and I don't know why. I had him in here, I have him in game. So Richard, yeah, he's he's got a face in here. I don't know why I'm not seeing it. Oh there he is. Oh gosh. I don't know why I didn't see that. Okay, let's open this up with Yep, there we go. Alright. Oh and it's opened up already. Great. Okay, so we need to view grid and snap to grid, and then image, we're going to configure the grid, and what was it? 144. Yeah, that was it. Okay, so um, rectangle select. Yeah, let's see. Get it down, there we go. So I'm going to copy this guy, and over here, I'm going to paste. Great. Now we need to scale this down a bit. Okay, scale that. And get to move it about. That actually fits exactly in there. That's really cool. Okay, great. So that's now number 16. So I'm going to export it as 16 bits. And that was, what was that? That was basis 1. Good. So now I need basis 2. He's in there, 16. So basis 3 and 4. Now this, this is where it gets tricky because I don't have. I don't have proper large graphics for ones like this. Um, and I, I won't be able to get proper large graphics for every single one. Um, because I'm going to have a lot of different actors in here that aren't, my, uh, that aren't major characters. So like Dax, eventually I can get a good image for him, just like how Phil and Predator and all the rest. But um, right now I just took a good... Um, I took this image, just um, this is a, a blown up version of what I have to do. So, how am I going to do that? So, maybe I'll just do that with uh, him for now. Again, but it, it just it looks terrible. Something. And I need to figure out how I'm going to do that eventually. So, side view actors, I think, is where I have it. So, Richard, I'm going to open the man. Yep. Okay. And and uh, let's take this guy right here and use that. Again, yeah, it's it's awful. It's going to be terrible. But it's what I've got. Um. So configure grid, I'm going to go with it's it's not 144 either. No, that's too big. 
Um, let's go with. Wait, what was it? Twenty-four hundred. Yeah, let's go twenty-four hundred. Why did I want to go with twenty-four? That's not it at all. Um, need something like. Oh gosh, I'm totally not sure. Let's do 44. No, it's probably like 62 or something. 62 is actually close, but it's maybe 68. Not quite that much. 64. That makes sense. That actually makes a lot of sense. It's 64. Okay. Okay, that's great. So now we have um, that. So we can grab this guy, just this top one right here. And we can put him in here <laughs> and scale him up. Oh, it's gonna look so terrible. Let's uh, put this. Let's see, image. Uh, oh, transform. There we go. Cool. Thing. Okay, flip horizontally. Uh, you know, it flip above that. But that's okay. That's right. We don't need above that um, right now. Anyway, actually, let's. Flip it back the way it was. I just want to flip layers, so I think I can do that here. Um, nope. Okay, maybe I can do that out here. Transform here to flip horizontally. There we go. Now he's the right way. Okay, we're gonna scale this guy and gonna scale him in a way that elongates him. Okay, I need to unlock that so that I can actually get him taller. It looks awful and bad, I know this. But we will figure something out. Okay, scale that guy. Get rid of above that, and I'm going to export as chapter 16. This will get him in the game. Figure out a good way to do that. This is gonna take some thought, but I will figure it out. We'll get there. Um, okay, so that's uh, faces three. Good, there he is right there. All right, and then faces four. Oh, it's the same one. That's right. So I'm gonna take faces three, copy him, and faces four, paste him in there. And then I'm going to give it a capital A. There we go. All right, fantastic. So we should be able to get him recruited into our party as well, which will be awesome. Uh, so let's go ahead and test it. Thing is, I, I need to test from the beginning. Wait, 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 no, no. Um, so that's what I need to do, actually. Oh, um, I'm going to say that. I am actually going to set the starting here. Is this where we set the player? Yeah. So I'm going to set this as the player starting position. And I'm going to change it to transparent in this system part. So start transparent. Good. OK. So this way we can actually start over from the beginning so that we can test the recruitment system. Nope, we don't want to continue. We want to start a brand new game, and we're going to pick Isaac because we can get through his level pretty quick. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. And password to patch. Give it to her.
going through this as quick as we can so we can get over to the D and D world. It's exciting. I like it. Alright, cool. I'm gonna try to hurry things along. Let's see. That's working alright. Talk to him. Um, he says, go up to the hotel room and get some sleep. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Let's go to floor five. I guess his room is on floor six. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go through this. Ready for your first mission? Yeah. No, I can't speed this part up, so I'll just make sure that I save afterwards. Okay, perfect. Um, so we're gonna save that on file two. It'll get there. Here we go. All right, great. Um, so we should be able to just go up and recruit both Bubba and this uh, guard. Actually, let's just go ahead and try to recruit Richard. Right. Recruit Richard? Yes. Fine, but there better be good pay involved. Great, Richard was added to your party. Oh, yeah, okay, so he's in our party, but he's still standing there, so that's a little bug. We can take care of that. Somebody say Bubda, rescue Bubda. Yeah, thank you, Bubda loves his new friends. Um, Bubda was added to your party. Great, so now we've got Bubda in our party as well. And there, <laughs> there's Richard. Oh, that's atrocious. But there he is. He's he's with us. So party, we should be able to change and grab Richard and swap him out with Bubda. And now we've got Bubda in the party. And his ears are so gigantic and they're interfering with other people. Um, let's change and swap they now. Richard. So you know what? I actually want to get into a battle and see who comes out to fight. I think it's just, it's going to be Richard and Bubda, but I don't know. Yeah, there they are, so there's Richard and Bubda, and they're in the battle. Great. So it looks like it's working great so far. Those are the two that are available. 
Yeah, I returned it. And Bubba is probably that was... I need to give Bubba his, uh, his gauntlets. His thunder gauntlets. Lightning gauntlets or whatever. Okay, cool. So, uh, I mean, it is working. Um, it's working okay. But I am going to need to address the, the issue with the um, graphics because that's not going to work. But I need to find a way to make it work um, for non-major characters. There is going to be a difference. There, there's, there kind of has to be. I sort of don't want there to be, but I, I can't ask Joshua to draw images for every single potential um, person that could maybe possibly be out there. Um, that, that would be a lot. I mean, I could ask. Maybe he would do it. I don't know. But anyway, I'll see if I can find a better way to do that. Uh, let's see, maybe use a variable uh, to cap no, uh, party members. And I, I would like to do uh, that. Two. I, I really would like to cap the number of additional party members that you can pick up at two. So you can get Bob Day, you can get the, the uh, you know, Richard the Guard. But then you can get around time. And so I might have to create another special variable when there is a situation like that where you you either lose somebody or it says, you know, you can only have um, this this many you can only have six members of your party. But then you might need to get five of them to battle. Maybe I should make that so that there are only Your, your party element to four, and you can only have four during that. But you can have two additional players for that. Well, okay. I think that's how I want to do this. So let's take a look at that. How do we... How do we decrease the amount of party members? I think it's actually here. That's where I was just at. I think it's here in the plugins. And it's in the Yamfly... Or battle um, plugin. All of the core plugins are up here, right? Core engine for update battle engine. Oh, there we go. Um, escape ratio, action default, animations, front view, side view, default position, window rows. Maybe this is not it at all. No, it doesn't look like that's it. But it might be here in the core engine, actually. Battle. There we go. Window color. No, it's not in here either. Um, parameters. No. Okay, I'm not sure how to change it so that only four people can be in the party. I think that's how it is by default, but then something in here is making it so that we can have more. It's probably, I think I have like the party. Sounds like fun. Let's see, skill core, uh, item core, message core. See, where, where is the party system? There we go. I think this is what it is. Max battle members. There you are. Four. Okay. So I'm going to set that down to four max. But followers are so. Okay. So. I think I'm going to have that way, and I kind of like that idea. So you can you can only use four members to battle. There are only going to be four members in your party. Well, there, there are going to be four members in your party. You can have up to six members in your party, but only four of them will be visible on the screen at a time and with the menu and the battles. So you can swap out party members if you'd like. And so if you want to bring Bubba into battle, you can swap one of your, your four original party members for Bubba. And they're still going to be with you, but they're not going to be, like, in the battle to be Hopefully that's going to make sense to the players, and hopefully that's going to feel right from a gameplay perspective. 
Okay, so um, the things that we really need to figure out and think about are uh, how we're going to get good graphics. So, so we need to um, we need to get good graphics. Or, um, we need to get good graphics for generic NPCs. I don't know how we're going to do that. 